The Promised Neverland, episode 10. Last time we left on a legit cliffhanger. Oh, God. That's corny. Yeah, I know, right? It was a cliff. <laughs> no, that, that thing... That thing was dangerous, man. It was a giant ass cliff, like what, a uh, th- thousand feet long. I said last week that if Norman dies, I'm dropping the show. But I don't know if he's I dead, so I, I can't drop it. Listen, I can't drop it. I can't drop it. So listen. he's probably he's probably still alive. I think he's still alive, honestly. The way they brought him into that room, I was he was just shocked. I don't I don't know. Maybe there's somebody he knows there. Maybe Connie's alive. I don't I don't know. I'm just guessing. But unless I see a dead body, I, I, that's 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 rule one one. There you go. But now that everyone's worried about Ray being shipped out next, though. And Emma, she got that little smirk at the end of the episode. Bro, what was that? That's some evil-ass smirk, bro. What was going on, bro? Happy Emma's like, nah, we're going to play by a new set of rules today. They're like, we're going to break her leg. <laughs> Mama's I'm, like, we're going to snap. I don't know why they just didn't kill Mama. Like, because, I don't know. I'm not, I mean, they did grow up with her. It kind of might be very hard to do. I'm, I mean, that could be one reason, but um, realistically speaking, are, you out, are they really going to take care of all these kids? Mama's right. literally yeah, yeah. been doing everything since they've been kids. Like, yeah. you can't just get rid of her and expect everything to be the same. I also got another question for you. Um, yeah. Do you feel like Mama actually cares about these kids? I think to an extent. I don't, I'm not like an actual mother-child relationship, but she cares as much as a, a farmer cares for his cattle. Damn. Like, I really want this. Like, hey, oh, Bessie, you're doing a good job. You're looking good today. I, I just don't understand. That's why I, I, why I can't connect with, like, like, even... Like, really, like yeah, as a character, even if they try to redeem her, it's not gonna work for me personally because literally she's sh- shipping out kids, bro, and like that she's raised from when they were babies, and and that's just like it's just like how do you spend like twelve years with these kids or a kid, you know what I'm saying, and then just ship them out like that with not even any like remorse or any type of stuff. They, at right. least to what we've seen so far, we have never seen her like she's always like mm, or like. Maybe she enjoys the mind games and the, and the back and forth between her and the kids, but there was a scene where Emma and Mama were talking about whether or not um, Emma would be, uh, re- be recommended to become a mama for another house or for that same house, and Emma a- admits, yes, um, that might be the only option for me to stay alive, but who would want this? And and Mama already knew that she was going to think that way, meaning when she was younger or when she was being recommended, she probably had the same feelings as Emma. She might have been the exact same person as Emma back in the day where she was like, I really want everyone to escape. I, I want to survive. I really want to um, I really want to have a life outside the house. But remember that um, when she was with Grandma back in the day, she was at, looking outside. The, she was looking outside the wall, remember? Yep. She might have seen Saw that cliff, cliff, looked back at Grandma and be like, uh, yeah. there's no point. So maybe after that realization that there's no real escape... But also, she said, you make another up where I'll kill you myself to Emma. That was more like... That was, that, that, I feel that was more was, like a threat. That was like an empty threat to me. Yeah, I didn't yeah, care yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. Like, if she actually said, I'm going to kill one of the kids, like, uh, maybe that will be more suspenseful, but it didn't. I didn't think much of it. Um, but, but focusing more on, like, how she was back in the day, I want us, I want us to believe that um, there was a time when she believed that people like Norman and Ray could actually escape when that there was a chance for kids to really survive but she probably her her grandma or grandma probably put her in the same situation right right um yeah i mean not much happened except for just normal shipment and then right. we get a cliffhanger <laughs> like a in 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 episode cliffhanger because mm-hmm. i was just like <laughs> are we gonna know what's gonna happen with um norman and then in the rest of the episode we know nothing we it goes by months so he's gone but we don't know if he's dead. I think it was less than a month. <laughs> Almost a month, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the mama, she said Norm is dead. Yeah. But. You don't trust her. I know. But I was excited, not excited, I was interested to see how Norman was going to take it. Because usually she's the, he's the most composed person in the show. So we just see him um, trying to stay composed, but then he starts hyperventilating. He, he starts realizing that this is it. I'm going to get shipped out. I'm not going to see nobody ever again. And he's, like, trying to have um, one-on-one moments with Emma, Ray, all the kids. But at the end of the day, he's going to become food. Or so we think. Yeah, I don't know why she brought me to the other room. What's going on? Bro, I have no idea what's going on, bro. I want to believe he's alive. Um, Do you think that... Um, Do you think Emma's actually going to have a, a chance to get it out of here, though? Oh, yeah. The, what, there's, there's definitely... There's definitely The last two episodes, it will be kind of lackluster if they just... All this for nothing. They just failed. I think you said this a couple weeks ago, but I really don't want. I agree with not wanting to end the season on a cliffhanger. I just, yeah, I just want them to escape. They ha- yeah, I just want to see escape and then set up for next season. 
I'm not sure if they're gonna escape next episode. Mm -hmm. But that means that they get all those kids to escape too, bro. So like, I mean, I feel like uh, I don't know. Now I just feel like how is, they didn't even sh they didn't even show their plans of how they're gonna do it. Maybe they're gonna do that next episode, and then the season finale is the actual escape. I could see that. I'm not. I'm not sure if they're really gonna get all the kids though, because. I don't... How are you going to take care of 30-something kids? Bro. And some of those kids are really small. Like, they're, some of them are, like, three or four years old, bro. They're, they're not going to survive in the demon world. <sighs> yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's really... It's not looking too good. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> um... Their reactions, though, when I, after Roman was taken, Ray and Emma went into a hardcore depression. Oh, I know. But it, it feels like... Doesn't feel that hard because now Emma's just they just ready to retaliate now. Yeah, Emma's been plotting for like a couple weeks now. She's like, "You're gonna see next episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to work." Um, uh, <coughs> last question. What is your percentage of thinking um, Norman's gonna survive? What is my percentage? Yeah. Well, how 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 what is your, what, what how likely do you think Norman is alive? Like out of one hundred percent, out of a hundred. Seventy. Seventy. Okay. Like. I don't know, like you, there's the way they set up that um that door scene when he was walking to into some room with uh he was shocked he was like oh what is this I feel like if we were to if they were to do like some flashback scene later <coughs> on being like when he walked to the room they offered him a deal or something like that uh that I can see um that can I I, that I can see that as a reason for him to be alive but then there's also thirty percent that okay they were just he he finally saw a demon and he got killed yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because I feel like because of the <coughs> top of the class, or not top of the <coughs> top of the orphanage, it's um the demons don't want them as food. They, I know they say, oh yeah, they want them as food if they're top of the or if they're not. You know what I'm saying? But if you notice that <coughs> the little ones or the ones the younger ones that aren't as smart get shipped off earlier mm -hmm. because that they're useless. Maybe the smarter ones. They say that oh, this, they think they well, they presume, and the audience presumes that oh, they they let you, if you're smarter, you get shipped off later, because so, then you're like more better food if you're smarter. But that honestly <laughs> never resonated with me. I didn't get like why is being smarter make you better? Your brains are more appetizing. I don't know. Oh, exactly. It doesn't make sense to me. To me, at least personally, I I. Yeah, have you ever eaten a bit more brain? I haven't. Well, you he'll never know. I guess not. But <laughs> the last, but I'm just saying that. It can make sense that they can use them in the system right. if they're that smart. That's why, <coughs> maybe that's why she even offered Emma to be a mom. Actually. And maybe Ray won't, if we get shut off, he won't be killed either. That's actually a theory I had. So the same way they said the smartest girl or the highest rated girl becomes a mama. What if the highest rated guy becomes like a guard or something or a high executive in the company? We, we don't, don't know, know what happens to the guys. We don't know. We don't know. It's like, it'd be such a waste just to turn the guys into into food when they have so much potential, like the same way uh, the highest rated female can be exactly. a mama. Exactly. Huh. I really, I think it's something that should come out of that. But I did hear <laughs> that this was like the highest rated arc, so I'm not sure if that means I the show goes... I heard that too. <laughs> I heard that the next arc is not that good, or not as good as this one. Right, like, so I'm hoping that doesn't mean the show goes downhill. As, like, if it's a, like, not crazy, that's okay. Yeah. But I don't want to just be like, damn. But yeah, I never like, listen to that sometimes because sometimes, like, other arcs, they say, oh, this is not as good as the last one. But, like, sometimes that arc might be better. You yeah, never it's know. All about, it's all subjective, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, that's all, <coughs> that's that's all, all I have to say. <coughs> okay. We will see you all next week. Like, comment, and subscribe down below.